Hello people, it's Potent. We're back on Ark. And what I wanted to do today, actually let me go this way and grab some berries. Uh, because I want to make some dye. And I'm kind of fresh out of dye. Uh, because I was opening a, a uh, cache. And oh, right. I gotta show you guys this. Look at this improvement to the house. At least I think that it's an improvement. I changed where the door is and I made this kind of like a, a huge balcony um, into the house. I don't know if I like it yet completely, but I'm probably going to have some thatch overhang at least here. Um, I'll show you guys that in a second. But I anyway, I was checking a cache and I got back flak gauntlets. Now, I know that I had lost them before. Um, I have now found new ones, so they are definitely better than chitin in every single way. So, I'm going to dye them. And what I came all the way here, and then I ended up I didn't need to go in there. Um, nothing about that's changed, but I'm slowly changing the walls to stone. The bottom half of the walls. Just so that it can kind of emulate this house with how it has the bottom half of stone. I need charcoal, is what I need. And that's about it. Oh, I made a door here. Especially so that I didn't have to run on that ramp anymore. And there I was doing it. Uh, oh, I got lots of charcoal in here. Uh, and all these water buckets. Okay, grab them. Oops, not that. Oops, not that. There we go. I'll just drag these all down to my bar. You can see that I've got some building material on my bar. And I'm going to show you guys what I've been working on for hours. Um, that's all I can say about it really yet. I don't want to show you guys yet. I don't know if anybody's spoiled it on their episodes or in their series or what. But I wanted to be the first to show you guys. Hopefully I am. Um, I'll grab that and we can light this fire. And I think it'll make, there's no combination of black and red. So I think it'll make both die at the same time. Yeah, perfect. And then it gives me these two. I can run back with them. And just do like that. Run back with these. Uh, transfer, transfer, transfer. What? How come I can't transfer? Well, there's no room in there. That's why. Okay, and this is kind of just the way that we have to do it. I made a bunch of these water bags so that I could uh, just do this quickly. It was kind of a suggestion from people watching, and uh, it's a great suggestion. Is making a bunch of water bags. I still got to make a lot, a lot of trips, but trust me, we go way faster with it. So already I've got 20 and 25. I think, you know what, that's probably enough. I'll take that, I'll take that. I'm waiting for, you can do one more, can it? Oh, maybe not with that little berries. Let's put this out, throw those in. That's good, okay, so black and red. Let's uh, right away dye these gloves. Actually, I think uh, red will be the finger pieces, like that. Um, black would, of course, be like that. I don't know what region two is. What's region two? Oh, the bands. Um, I don't know. I guess those could be red-ish. Like, usually I make those gold, I think. They're just the straps. You know what? I'll make them red. Just to distinguish them. Uh, what's this region? That's the fingers. And there. So now we've got the outside is black. The fingers are red. Just how I want them. And they are done. Um, I also, though, wanted to dye my sword. I dyed Fabe's sword that I gifted him uh, with a red blade. And it really looks cool, I think. So I'm going to do that. Um, this part of the blade I'm going to do black. 
I'm going to do the strapping in black. I think that looks pretty cool. So if I look at it now, it looks pretty wicked. I think. Yep. Whoop, I'm spoiling something. But I guess it's time that I showed you guys. So, what I've been working on for hours and hours and hours. Look at it. Let's let's go over and see it. Hours and hours and hours. I finally got my lighthouse started. Finally. As the shadows cast over it. See if we can get a better view of it from this side maybe. Oh no, the shadow is working against us. But there it is. Uh, the base of the lighthouse has started. I finally was able to build on that stupid rock that I couldn't build on. And I'll show you guys kind of how. So I just land down. I made a small platform. I need... Oops. Did I punch? No, I, I don't know what I did. Um, I made this platform smaller. I need to make it bigger, I think. But... Because this is like the landing platform. But what I plan to do is kind of try to make a bridge over to the mainland over there in that direction they need like a pointer like I need to be able to point somehow is there like a pointing taunt like can I uh, wave thank you salute lower hands taunt maybe what's that do oops no 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 No. <laughs> they need like a pointing emote. So I can show you guys like over there. But you guys can see it in front of me. So I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that. That one's going to be tough. There's an Oviraptor on the beach. Um, but I'm going to try it. And uh, let's set the gamma up to 3.5. Look at it. Wait a minute. Why are those pieces sticking out? Well, I guess that's to be expected, but how I did this, I actually swam around. You can still see pillars for me, my trial and error. I don't need those anymore. Give me the material back before the piranhas eat me. Get me up before the piranhas eat me. Get me up. This is a problem constantly. Um, really there's no mobs naturally spawn on this island, so it's perfectly, completely, 100% safe from all critters and creatures. But how I did it, you can see I was placing, uh, the pillars as close as I could to the land. And what I had intended to do was to pillar up and then branch out. Um, but what I figured out is that this pillar right here on this side could get really close. In fact, it's in the, uh, the coral there. And I was able to put these stone pillars. They were wood originally, but I made them stone just so that they don't break. Um, can I get up? Thanks. Uh, and then attached to that pillar, sort of, is this floor. It almost doesn't look like they're attached. And so I question whether it's attached at all. But I'm almost positive that I couldn't place any foundations like that without that pillar there before so I'm not gonna remove those pillars just in case um, but this wooden foundation is literally I think the thing that's holding up this entire structure so I've got to make this super strong I've been building um, stone walls slowly and I'm gonna en encase it uh, this wooden pillar as well is what's again holding up that that wooden foundation again it doesn't look like they're connected but they kind of are for some reason and I don't care why it just works we can kind of peek in here and see that that foundation is then connected to another foundation and then connected to another foundation and so on and that's how I was able to build you can also see down in here that I used a lot of the pillars again uh, when the foundations couldn't fit so it's a lot of trickery uh, to get this whole platform started but I think it looks really, really cool. And, uh, yeah, what more can I say? Let's go up and take a look. So, again, it's not finished. Uh, the upper part of the 
lighthouse isn't finished, but I wanted to show you guys before I finish the whole thing. I want to do to do some of the work on camera. I think it's cool that I was able to do do these kind of like corner pieces and make it sort of look roundish. Um, but these corner pieces, they actually created a glitch, and so these walls are separated in this spot right here. You can see that all the way up. It's separated by like a few inches. And then right back here, again, it's actually split apart by another few inches. And that's entirely because of these corner pieces, I'm sure. Um, I would have been actually better off um, not putting the corner pieces in until I was more finished with it. But then they might have been obstructed, I don't know. So building on here is so tedious and so touchy. So inside, I wish it wasn't foggy when I'm showing you guys this. It's really annoying me, actually. Um, but what you can see is... Wait, can I make... What's a torch worth? One flint, one stone, which I don't have. All right. Um, I'm going to see if a, a torch lights this up a little bit better. But I think we're... We're coming to be daytime soon, actually. Nighttime doesn't last very long. I already see that orangey glow of the sunrise. So, uh, what you can see here is that we started a kind of a spiral staircase up. And it's looking pretty cool, but this is where the tedium starts. I'm having quite a bit of problem with it. Let me just look outside for a second, because I, I don't like that it sticks out like this. And it doesn't in some areas. Or does it? No, it always does. Yeah, it always does. So our our lighthouse is going to have these little slats, these diagonal slats in it. I don't know if that's bad. Might actually give it a, a little bit of a flare. Texture. Okay, so let's... I'll show you guys kind of how the building goes, and it's so slow, and this is why I wanted to show you on camera. I actually tried to cheat a little bit and put the slanted, like these are sloped roofs. They are not ramps. They are sloped roofs. I wonder if I could get away with a ramp. I probably could, but I like having the, uh, the solid pieces here, so I'm going to just keep using... <laughs> The sloped roofs. Um, but I tried to... Like, here's a sloped roof. I don't actually have a ceiling piece, which I need. Nope. And the ceiling costs way more than I have. Okay, let's go craft some. Let's go craft some. But, like I was saying, I tried to get ahead by, like, placing the sloped roofs ahead of time. Like... Um, if I go and drag one onto my bar, I'll drag this onto my bar too. If I go and I place it, like I know that it has to go right over there. Right there. Oop, right. I had it. Right there is where it has to go. The next one. If I place that there, then I cannot place this in the right spot. It does not let me. It says it's obstructed. So it's so dumb. And it does that, but that's how it works. Alright, let's go and craft a bit. Um, in fact, let's do sloped. Let's do a sloped one as well. And I usually drag these on the bar. These on the bar. But I'm going to need a lot of ceilings here. So this is the, the tedium of building. I'm not going to show you the full process. Obviously, it took me hours to do. Um, a lot of trial and error. A lot of destruction. After I'd built something, I had to tear it all down. Um, this tower used to be a lot smaller. And I then tore a bunch down and then built it back up again. So, it's been a lot of wasted resources also. Oh, I knew it was going to give me stone when I chopped that one. See if I can get it from, like, this angle. I just have to break this whole rock to get this one piece of tree. 
There we go. And I can just throw that, throw that, throw that. Guess I could have made a torch. Um, I'm almost level 60. Almost high enough to get to that red cache now. Let's see what I am at. I am at level 58. And I think the last time I was on camera I was 55. So again, this has helped um, the building of all this stuff has really skyrocketed my levels really hugely. Um, simply because, like, every single time I build something, you can see on the bottom right, my little experience bar flickers. Like, it's just so good. Almost level 60. Almost ready to get those caches. I got these flak gloves, in case you were wondering. I got the flak gloves from a yellow cache. Alright, I also kind of want to have... I, I haven't decided how to do the light at the top yet. We can go to the top. Um, I think my... Once I build a few more levels here, we can go to the top. Because I, I actually had a ladder that went all the way up. You can still see it there. But I remove it as I go, just to save space. Um, let's go ahead and... Get... The other ceiling on the bar. Number eight. Whoa. Whoa, that really doesn't line up, does it? What's up with that? What's up with that? What did it do down here? Did it line up down here? It sticks out a few inches that way. Is that what it's doing over here? I gotta run back up and see. Oh, this is like way off. Let's I'm gonna actually destroy this sloped roof here and rebuild it. And herein lies the uh, the tedium of the whole thing. That's so bad. It's as good as it gets though. <laughs> oh but you see that's why building in this is so kind of crappy. You really can't build so that it looks nice. See, this one will look alright. This one will look fine. You can kind of tell. I'm going to have one more go at this. Okay. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to demolish this roof. Ruin that one. I could build another one, though. With those two. And let's see if I can... Oh! Ha! See how now it's a little bit inset like that? Way better. Way better. That's the tedium of building this. It's so, so ridiculous.